is getting bigger by the second. And yes, we have a big match coming up. Dale versus Marco. And that is so important, ladies and gentlemen. Because right now, Haryana just lost the last fight. David Moon came guns blazing. Remember, it's very important for UB to win to get to the semifinals. And yes, I have beauty amongst fighters as well. We've got Miss India Tourism, Ishika here. You know, you are a, of course, Haryana supporter, right? Yeah, Haryana Sultan. They're rocking it. But the last one they lost, so you must be a little disappointed. See, it's about winning and losing, but in the end, uh, how you play the entire game, the energy, the pressure is so much that sometimes the things might give, go a little haywire. We saw two women fighting, Sushila and Angela as well. It's total women empowerment happening here. I was pretty proud to see women fighting out there and with so much of energy and power and it was amazing and Sushila did quite well. It was amazing. You know what? Next month is Miss World Spain and you're going for it. Imagine you've just won the Miss World Spain contest. Give me a reaction. How would you do it? <laughs> and you know what? Haryana needs a cheerleading dancer right now. Right. Are you available? <laughs> I can give them a step or two. Come on, let's do it. Come on. One, two, three, hit it. Yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for two Kinder. Way from Germany. Representing the UP Nawabs is still Kine, a tenacious ground fighter with an iron chin is how I would describe this man. And he's going to need it. He's going up against a slightly larger, more muscly built opponent. So he's going to have to get in there, try and close that distance, use the grappling, maybe not take it to the ground where the Brazilian will, might have an advantage with his history with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but look for the clinch, tire his arms out tire his legs out, get him up against there, short knees to the thighs, and just make him really work hard with that. Maybe he can find a submission later on in the fight. In his last fight, Zilla did a great job, pressured his opponent, closed that distance, slowly grounded him up against the clinch, took him down and beat him up. And his opponent making his way to the cage, Marcus Santana! Bad face, Marcus Santana representing the Haryana Sultans here tonight. And what a, what a background he has. He's been doing Muay Thai for 12 years. He's got 20 years of BJJ training. So he's going to be dangerous wherever it goes. Not only that, but just the sheer experience that this man has. He's got 27 fights. I think he's the most experienced fighter we have on our roster. Marca, Marcel Santana is going to look to use his striking, his range, his long kick, and throw some of his devastating knees in the clinch. But at the end of the day, he doesn't want to stand and bang with uh, with Zil Kina. Kina, he's going to he's going to look to stop that takedown and keep the standing. And Kina is a very durable fighter, as we've seen. Uh, he just pressures, and his fight style is just constant. He doesn't use a lot of effort, so he's going to have to. Marcos is going to have to be patient. Here we go, till of the day, Marcel Santana for the Haryana Sultans taking on Til. Kina from the UP Nawabs. Mark Marcel weighed in slightly heavier than his opponent. Both fighters the same height. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, is uh, mixed martial arts. He weighed in at 77.9 kilograms. Representing the UP Nawabs, give it up for Till Kina! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. It's time Muay Thai and BJJ. He weighed in at 79.3 kilograms. Representing the Haryana Sultans, it's Marcus the Backface Santana! 
Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, La Rosama. Gentlemen, listen to my commands at all times. Watch out for the falls. Let's have a great show. Touch glove and back to corners. Harrison, this is has all the potential to be fight of the night. Yeah, you've got two guys who are very tough, not afraid to take shots, and you're definitely going to see some punches and kicks landed here tonight. I'm, I can't. I'm very excited to see how it all plays out. I can't wait to see Santana. We heard so much about this guy before he came to the Super Fight League, and we get a chance to do this right now. Here we go. Santana in the red and black. Tilkina in the yellow and black. And Marco, Marcus Santana looks like he's two weight classes above. It's a real size difference. So hopefully Kina can use his quickness. Marcus is built strong. He's heavy. You can see he's taking his time, staying patient. Look, he set up that jab. Nice double jab there by Till. Santana closing distance. Nice leg kick. Marcus has got to be careful loading up so much on those punches that he doesn't get caught with a straight straight right down the middle. Nice knee to the body there a moment ago. He's doing a good job of keeping Kena up against the cage. Now he's got an over-under. I can't tell if he does not have it locked. Good job by Kena going right back at it, not giving Marcos any time to breathe. And that's going to be uh, something that he's going to need to do is just push us into later rounds and try and tire the bigger fighter out. Nice leg kick there by Marcus. He's taking his time, staying patient. He's looking for Kena to come in so they can counter with that overhand right. Comes over with the big right hand. Nice shot to the body there. And again, clinches with Till. Till's going to need to start firing back when he comes forward. Otherwise, he's going to keep getting pushed against the cage. But he's doing a great job pummeling with the bigger fighter and not taking much damage. Till landing a couple of knees of his own. He's trying to get... Oh, and both fighters separate. Nice jab here by Marcus. Yupi really needs to win this fight. Good body kick by Till. Nice knee there, beautiful knee. Till's firing back. Everything Marcos is bringing. Till's doing a good job keeping it nice and tight, finding his spot. And when they're up against here, he's doing a great job up against the clinch. Both fighters jockeying for a better position against that cage. Yes, clinch, yes, got an over under. He'll be looking to turn Santana over. Oh, beautiful knee by Santana. Another good one to the body. Both fighters firing back with body shots. Both, neither fighters really battling for head position, which even, there you go, you see Marcos get that head position. Now he can start to do a lot more damage. He definitely has an advantage here. Big knees fired by both fighters. Kena's not giving him any time to breathe and recover. He's right back on him. That's Kena's style. He's in your face. He's going to press the action, take the center of the cage, and just keep coming at you. Neither fighter has been able to land anything clean so far. Lots of body shots. Nice leg kick by Santana. Long jab. And both these fights. There we go. Get down to it. Kena's using a great shoulder roll defense, taking some of those on the arm, but he's got to be careful he doesn't stand in front for too long. Santana looking, set up that jab and load up with that right hand. Try the front kick up the middle. Nice jab there, got Kena coming in. Good body shot. Oh, big one two there. You might have him hurt. Kena standing in the pocket and still trading. Oh! Big jab, big knockdown, man. Big punches. Kena might be hurt here. Another right hand coming over the top. And Kena just keeps going forward. He ate some big shots and he's firing back now. Man, this is gonna be a this looks like it's already a war. 
Welcome to Super Fight League for those of you watching at home. <laughs> These are the type of fights that we want. Hashtag Super Fight League. 25 seconds remaining in this first fight. You can see Marcel has cut him on uh, cut Kine under his left eye. Nice leg kick there. Beautiful body kick. Slowly starting to pick him apart. Jab to the body. Flying near attempt. And Kine firing back now with a nice left hand of his own. Not afraid to trade in the pocket with Marcel. Marcel has some oh, heavy, nice right hand. as you see, throwing some heavy punches, making good contact. But Kina's not going anywhere. This kid is as tough as they come, and he's right back in it. And that's the end of round number one. What a great round. Both fighters jockeying for position against the cage. But I think I would give this one uh, to uh, Marcel. I think they landed probably a closer and even number of shots. Maybe Marcel has it. But it was that big jab that he landed that I think really stole the round for sure for him. Yeah, I think it was the jab that knocked Kine down. And uh, that's when uh, I thought, this is a beautiful combination. He landed here, one, two over the top, comes over. And this is just where we were both trading. It was that jab that knocked him down briefly. And it looks like it was more that Kine was off balance. But excellent striking from Marcus. Santana's coming in being very aggressive and just landing the better shots. Landing those beautiful front kicks to the body, those knees, and he's been throwing that low leg, uh, leg kick as well. Yeah, and that's gonna pay off. He landed five, six, seven really good low kicks. And for as tough as Kina is, those are going to slow you down. You just can't walk as well on it. Looks like he might be a little bit ginger on it right now. Yeah, his left leg certainly seems a little light. You can see he's putting more of his weight on the right foot. But we, time will tell now as we get ready for round number two. If you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, is Marcel Santana in the red and black trunks and Till Kine in the yellow and black trunks. And you're seeing bo how well conditioned both fighters are. Neither one's breathing heavy. They're ready. They look like they could keep this up for two more rounds. That'll be wonderful cardio. Such an important aspect of mixed martial arts. You said this time and time again, you can be the greatest fighter in the world. And without cardio, beautiful combinations there. Body, head, body. Nice knee to finish it up. One, two. You can see Marcel has the reach advantage, stepping in with that jab. And I'd like to see Santana use that jab or 110 a little bit more. Bikina is tr doing everything he can to make this an ugly fight. Marcus again pushing him up against that cage, looking to land those brutal knees in the clinch. From this over under clinch, I would think that he's going to want to use his right leg to try and step around Kina's left and hook it out and see if he can't drag it to the mat or pummel back inside. Nice knee again by Santana. As both fighters reset, nice kick up the middle to the body. Marcus staying patient, waiting for his opportunity. Nice shot to the body and then to the head. Both fighters are loading up a lot when they strike. I'd like to see him work behind jabs or a little bit simpler strikes. And that way you can hide those big, lunging, powerful strikes. I like how uh, Marcus is setting up that he's throwing that jab. He's mixing it up with the leg kicks. Comes over with the big right hand. Both fighters standing in the pocket. I think that body kick might have added, hit. Oh, big knockdown. He got tagged with that big right hand. Marcus is all over him. Kina did a great job of covering up. Now he's got to keep tying those hands up. He took a big shot from Santana. Oh man, that was a huge hit. And Santana's just been getting to work. In his guard now is Marcus taking his time. Certainly had the better of the striking exchange on the feet. Now looking for some elbows and ground and pound. We see Till looking to control that wrist, control the arms, control the posture. I'd like to see him start opening up his hips just like this, getting an angle, looking for that arm bar, looking for a triangle, or look to get back to his feet. Kine recovered very quickly. He was 
after he was knocked down by that big right hand he got his recovery he's holding he's got great wrist control right now he's not allowing Santana to posture up nice elbow landed there a second ago now he's starting to move out of this position and kills that kills definitely working trying to get a better position but Marcus is so strong he's doing such a good job of controlling and he's landed not a lot but effective ground and pound just like you see there Nice short elbows, picking his spots, taking his moments. I'd like to see Marcus throw some shots to the body. And just as I said that, he lands a nice short right hand to the body and then to the head. Oh, big elbow, hammer fist. Kill's doing the right thing, trying to get back up to his feet. And he's right back in it. This time he's got Marcus oh, out. elbow. Beautiful elbow over the top. These two are just banging. Man, nice body shot by Santana. Minute and a half remaining in round number two. You can see Santana just breathing out of his mouth a little bit. And that's that pressure. And Kina's still, uh, Kine's still in there making him work, pressuring the action. But he's got to turn it up. I think he's going to be down two rounds to none. Yeah, I agree with you. So far, it's been all Marcus. Beautiful left straight right there. Looks like he tagged Marcus real good. Hard to tell if he's hurt, but now Marcus is starting to give ground. Superman punch attempt. Good counter by Marcus. But yeah, you're right, partner. I think Marcus might be slowing down here. I like the way that Tails throwing that counter hook where he kind of slips off to his left, right side as he throws the hook but he's been getting busted up with that jab oh he's perfect use of that jab by marcus he's taking his time setting it up and then comes over with that big right hand again with the jab catching till kina both fighters showing a lot of skill and technique in the striking and also a lot of heart they've both taken some big shots marcus 10 seconds remaining in round number two and you can see Marcus taking some deep breaths as we head into round number three. Till is not going anywhere. You're starting to finally see some deep breaths from Santana. But Till has a long way to go. Here we go. Look at this was the story of round number two. He's landed some good combinations, took the fight to the ground. And here you can see comes over with some combinations, both fighters striking back, just great overall MMA fight. And that was that huge knockdown. You can see his head snap back, but what you to can the see, ground, and some good ground and pound by Marcus. And really good defense and heart by Till. When he had the opportunity, he got back to his feet. He knew what he needed to do. And I think after spending two or three minutes on his back, he knows if he's going to win, he's going to be through attrition and on the feet. But so far, the Ariana Sultan, Marcus Santana is definitely leading up two rounds to none. And Santana kind of got away from the leg kicks. I wouldn't mind seeing him go back to those outside oh. leg kicks or when Kine is coming forward throw that inside leg kick and knock him off balance. Yeah, we saw that in round number one, that whenever uh, Kine tried to close that distance, lunging forward, Santana threw that outside or inside leg kick and slowed him down. Here we go, third and final round. If you're just joining us, it's still Kine for the UP Nevabs in the yellow and black and Marcus Santana in the red and black for the Haryana Sultans. Santana's doing a really good oh, job. Beautiful those, leg kicks. There are those leg kicks we were looking for. Now he's doing a lot more moving in and out and trying to pick his spot. Nice. Very nicely done. Those leg kicks look brutal. You can see the welt already on the left thigh of Tilkina. There's definitely some redness, but I'd like to see him really start focusing on that. Beautiful combination. Jab finishes up with a leg kick, and you can see Till is already slowing down. You can see he's not putting too much weight on that leg. Yeah, and he's bringing it up. That leg is definitely bothering him, but it's not stopping him. He's still coming forward, but he's got to be careful about jabbing in. When he jabs, he gets heavy on his front foot, oh, just another like that. Leg kick. And you see that another leg kick land. 
pushing him up against the fences till you can see that leg is hurting both men battling for position here you can see uh, Marcus getting instructions from his trainer there and perfectly done he turns him around and trying to land some knees in the clinch I think it's also that body work initially in the first two rounds that is paying off right now Santana, Santana has thrown some really good body hooks in that first and second round. I'm glad to see him go back to the leg kick. Beautiful elbow from Kine in the clinch there. Again trying to come up with that elbow. I like how he throws the short kick to the body up the middle. Another nice leg kick. Oh, beautiful. Till has to start checking those. He's got three more minutes, and I don't think he can take three more minutes of these kind of kicks. And he's setting him up again now. There you go. He's checking those kicks now because I know they're hurting. But he's got to be careful when he does it. He turns his knee to the... Oh, big right hand. Huge shot, and Till just took it. But Till landing a really nice right hand. He's got Santana backing up again. Santana pushing him up against the corner to check that one. Till needs to get to work, continue that pressure, and just keep throwing strikes. I like how Marcus is also fainting. And what faints will do is they keep your opponent guessing, and sometimes they'll tell you how they're going to react to certain strikes. Coming over the top again is Till Keener trying to close that distance. Right now, Marcus is a big overhand right. Man, Till has a chin on him. Another beautiful leg kick. Great combination by Santana. Till's certainly not out of this fight. He's still moving forward, and he's starting to land the better of the strikes, but he has eaten a lot of leg kicks this round. Clinch position again for Marcus, looking to land some knees here. Less than two minutes remaining in the round. Kine really needs to turn it up. And you were right. This has definitely been fight of the night, just like you predicted. Both fighters showing beautiful technical ability, skill, great striking, and... Kine just has a ton of heart, he took those shots, still keeps fighting, nice elbow to the body there, might be looking for that takedown. Really good balance and takedown defense, been able to balance on one leg, oh, straight to the mat with a minute and a half remaining, and that is a bad thing for Till, awesome for Santana, because now he can just stay on top, all he has to do is stay busy. He can just stay and ride out this position for the next minute and he seals the decision victory. The pressure and the onus is on Till to get active, start looking for a submission or get back to his feet. He's got less than a minute to win this fight. Less than a minute to go in round number three of this super exciting fight. Only in the Super Fight League. And if the Sultans can pull this one off, which I think they will, they're going to lock up the win for sure. A much needed win definitely for the Sultans who are currently leading by nine points, 14 to five over the UP Nababs. Ground and pound here. Beautiful job by Till to get back to his feet, but I think he might be out of time. Another takedown, straight to the mat, side control, sorry, half guard. 15 seconds remaining in this round, I think I think uh, Santana might have it. Yeah, he just needs to hold out. You hear the 10 second mark. Kine knows that this fight is over. He was out muscled, out grappled and out striked by Marcus Santana here tonight. Great sportsmanship between these two. And you can see Marcus's coach coming in, celebrating. They know they got the win and the much needed three points for the Haryana Sultan. Yeah, Santana had a very impressive performance. We're gonna see here, good leg kicks in that third. Good combinations, working leg, body, head. Coming in, he'll get the takedown at the end. There's some of those lead body hooks that oh, he was they throwing. Beautiful, those leg kicks up the middle and the leg kicks actually were, were the highlight of round number three. trying to get a clinch here it's and, just towards the end and i think this is going to go down as a 30 27 for santana but there was not a round single round that wasn't competitive oh, till no. did everything that he could but santana just proves to be the better fighter tonight 
Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have made their decision. Judge Radhika scored the bout at 27.30. Judge Vikash scored the bout at 27.30. Judge Kevin David scored the bout at 27.30. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision from the Haryana Sultans, Marcus the Backface Santana! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Haryana Sultans are now 17 points, while the UP Nabab stand at 5. Great job by Santana. Got the much needed win for his team, which now Harrison takes them to 17 to 5. That's a good point difference. 12 point difference. And that's what they need. If they want to have any shot at the semis, they had to come out here and not only win, but win big. They will have the tiebreaker on points against the Sultans no matter what. 17 to 5, big difference. There's no way for the UP Nawabs to come.